sunshine welcome and welcome back to another video and as you guys can tell from the title this is going to be a collective haul you guys y'all know i have been doing a lot of hauls here and there since i've been sick um if you have yet to watch last week's video i make sure i leave it up in the card but that's all pretty much i've been able to do is when i'm able to get out i go um look in a couple of stores and so forth but for his home um what i'm looking for i got a brain for it far as home stuff what i'm trying to say like home duties home <laughs> doing my home stuff like the fall stuff that i wanted to do i told you guys i wanted to do um for this year is on pause right now so right now i'm okay i'm still having a little bit of complications but i'm okay today is good and um we're here so yeah i picked up a couple things last week that i shared with you guys but it's one item kitchen related that i forgot to share with you guys i don't think i shared it with you guys but i'm gonna share it with you anyway that's why we starting the video off here in the kitchen and then i have two other items that i picked up i want to share with you just in case you may or may not be in the market for any of these items you know i always like to share with you guys whether it's lame or not i just like to share it with you guys because sometimes we don't really know or think about things until someone influences us or whatever but anywho i'm gonna start the video here and then i'm gonna share some things with you in the babe cave so like i said i picked one item up last week i forgot to share with you um when i did that haul but it's just a kitchen essential um I'm about to bust myself in the head. Um, it's this two-piece set, um, bacon set, this Swiss and silicone spatula. I got it from Ross for $6.99. I cannot remember if I showed this to you guys. I, I, I disregard if I did. But, you know, I have told you guys a while back that I was going to refresh my kitchen tools. You know, I have a, a little aesthetic going on, like a lot of black um, kitchen tools and so forth. Um... And it's, it's intentional because I, I don't like when spoons and, you know, stuff start to look kind of crusty and dusty. So I get black because you don't really notice a lot of that wear and tear. Plus, I just like black. It's so classy. Um, so I did pick up a couple of new pieces um, to refresh that, um, that drawer. And I'll share with you guys as soon as I get a couple more pieces that I'm trying to order um, from Amazon and... Yeah, so I got this two piece set, just a silicone spatula and the whisk. I do it on one that had like a wood or whatever. I just use it as a backup, but yeah, got that. Then I picked up something from Amazon. And I'll make sure I leave anything with links down below. So it's some silicone spoons right here. Nothing special, but you never know what you may need to use, be influenced, like I said. Um, I don't know what I, well, I've always wanted a black silicone spoon because I own a gray one and it's really, really little. I purchased it from Aldi like years ago and Chip always using it for different things when he's cooking and it's like really little. I think it like, the head of it is not even this big. So I just want a average size and um, this was very inexpensive. It did come with two. So it was a great deal. I believe this was like less than $6, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to pop all this stuff in the sink so I can wash them and get this stuff situated so I can show you guys my refresh. Um, Things are just kind of being a little slow for me. So y'all, please be patient with me. I know a lot of you guys have been inboxing me, asking me when I'm going to continue um, my room tour. You know, I kind of stopped. Well, I think I did majority of it. Um... I didn't do a, do a tour. I did an organization, and I kind of stopped. And that's when I started noticing my health was trying to decline more or whatever. So thank you for all the who's been patient with me. Y'all Y'all are my real OGs because some of y'all been in my DM. It's almost kind of like I owe you something. Y'all be really aggressive. And I know, you know, as a content creator, we have to be mindful of the things that we say. And I don't want to be one to put my foot in my mouth. But everything that I show you guys, everything I say is 1,000% authentic. Um, I might not get to it right then, but I will eventually. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for being patient with me. 
Um, but I have had some people in my inbox very aggressive, like, oh, you said you're going to do this. Are you really like this? Or really? And I'm like, y'all, don't do not do that. Like, for real, life be life. -ing. Like, nobody's perfect. Everybody has a life, whether they have personal things going on, work, children, marriage. Everybody, life is life. -ing. Like, for real. And I try to do my best, um, much as possible, stay on point when it comes to my content i used to have a regiment i kind of winged off with it because of my health and everything excuse me i think i got a piece of hair in my mouth um but yeah like i said life be life and then um that's all i can say i can't you know but please refrain from dm me being aggressive asking me when i'm gonna do that i mean if you're doing it in, just in a concerned way i'd have no problem with it but if you're being like really aggressive like oh you said you're gonna do this or why you said you're gonna do this it's kind of coming off like you're trying to say i'm lying and that's, <laughs> that's not even funny. Like, no. Enough of that. Um, stop in Hobby Lobby. Excuse me, y'all. I feel like I got a piece of hair. <clears throat> but I didn't stop. That day, why was I? I think I had, I had a doctor's appointment. Um, and then they mixed up my doctor's appointment. They told me it was September 27th. Get there. They said, no, ma'am, it's October 27th. It was a computer error. And I'm like, anywho, stopped in Hobby Lobby. I had Chip go on a run for me because I was not feeling well that morning. That was why I was going to the doctor for um, a random checkup. Because I've been having these complications with my, um, oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. It's like a piece of hair. Don't they annoy you? Um, I've been having some complications with my ears. And I've been having, um, like, ear pain and headaches and dizzy spells and stuff like that. So, I was going to my primary so she can get me some antibiotics. Um, I did go to the emergency room a while back. Um, they gave me some steroids, but the steroids does not align with the current heart medication that I'm on. And my primary caretaker was like, don't take it, you know. So, yeah. Enough of that. Hobby Lobby sent Chip in to get something that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while. Why do I want it? I don't know. I just was scrolling on their website one day, and I was like, that'll be really, really cute. I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a while. Like, my, initi my initiative plans was to go in there to find fall stems and fall decor. My body was like, no. So, anyway, sit you up in there. He found it. He said it was only four left. I don't think this is even a about item in the home decor world. I don't know. I, I mean, I haven't seen nobody talk about it anyway. Um, it was originally $8.99. It was 50% off, so I paid 4 dollars for it. And y'all, y'all probably be like, girl, what is you gonna do with that? But I just think it's so cute. So y'all know I do love the natural elements and stuff in my home. I have more of an organic, modern home. But I just thought this was actually really, really pretty. It's a stone material. It's like actual stone. Um, but it's a planter. As you can see, it's a hole in the bottom. But I'm not going to use it for that. I just love the, you know, imperfect shape, the natural shape or whatever. I initially was going to put some bath salt in there. But it does have a hole in the bottom. I don't know if I could put some putty or something at the bottom to fill in that hole or whatever. But I just thought that would be a nice touch in my spa, zen-like um, bathroom. Put some bath salt in there with a cute little wooden, um, you know, little scoop or whatever. But I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do or how I'm going to fill this hole or whatever. But I just thought this was cute. And I just absolutely love the texture. I'm getting more and more into texture. Like, I've always been into texture. But I just absolutely love um, texture. Now, I don't know if I'm being influenced or it's just, I don't know. But I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm going to go with my first mind and try to fill that hole with some museum putty. I don't know. I don't want to put a plane in. That's not, I want to be different. I want to do something, something different. So, yeah, I got that from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm not putting it back up. I'm about to use. So, yeah, that is all I want to share with you guys as far as these items are concerned. And then 
I'm gonna show y'all how the stills look that I hauled last week um, in my dining room. All right, you guys. So these are the stems that I hauled last week. And I decided to put them in this um, vase right here that I got from Home Goods on clearance a while ago. I hauled that because the original one that I had here, the green glass from H&M Home, the stems were just too long and I do not cut my stems. So yeah, this is how they're looking. Very, very pretty, very fall-like, very cozy. Excuse this plate. This is the plate that I hauled the other day. I thought I was going to be able to find more to put in here, but I couldn't find them. I think I went to like three or four Rosses. So I'm going to still use it for the babe K like I initially planned. But yeah, I put it there because I really wanted to use it in here. So yeah, this is how the table setting is looking. Very beautiful, if I must say so myself. But I'm absolutely in love with those stems. I'm just totally shocked that I got my hands on them. Like, now that I have them, I'm seeing a lot of content creators getting their hands on them. They're super excited just as much as I am because these are absolutely beautiful. It kind of got this frost look on them. Kind of like they're, I don't know, like morning dew. I don't know. I can't really describe it. But the color is everything. And you know what? My olive green dining room chairs i just thought that was just oh my gosh i just think it flows very very well very cozy very i don't know i i just i just think it looks so 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 stinking good and you guys know i'm all about lux for less my chargers are from dollar tree the plates and the sauce are from dollar tree the napkins is thrifted, and my napkin rings are from Amazon. I'll make sure I leave that down below. It's always going to be on my Amazon storefront because I love them so much. I do want to get some more, but, yeah, I like what I like. But, yeah, this is how the dining room is looking. Here's my sidebar. I will enclose a B-roll so y'all can get the whole effect of everything so now we're going to go into the babe cave and i'm going to show you the rest of the goodies All right, you guys, so we're in the babe cave, and I want to share with you guys some goodies that I picked up myself um, sometime last week. Um, I have two packages from some pink sisters that I want to share with you guys. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it in no particular order. I think I do want to start with the love mail from my pink sisters, which is Mari and Angel. So let's start off with Mari since it's already open right here in front of me. Y'all know I was too impatient <laughs> to wait for you guys. I had to open. I mean, I already knew what it was. It wasn't like a blind box or anything like that because it was a business transaction for both. So, yeah. So, here it is right here. Make sure I don't show no addresses and stuff. Here it is right here. Okay. First thing first, thank you, Mari, so much for sending this out to me you didn't have to do that you know um it's been really tough getting in those pink streets so the fact that she still thinks of me to ask me if there's anything that i'm looking for means a lot to me because she don't have to do that so thank you mari so much she did send some extra goodies right here one is this really cute care bear halloween figurine she said she had to take it out the box so it could fit in the box. So I don't know what the packaging looked like to share with you guys. But she said she did get it from Five Below. And it just absolutely is too sticking cute. I didn't even know they had anything like this. So it's the orange Care Bear with the little cute pumpkin right here. But look at the little butt, y'all. If that's not, <laughs> that's not the sticking cutest. So thank you, Mari, for that. I can put that on my little shelf and my grandbaby don't take it. Then she enclosed a beautiful card 
I didn't get her permission to read it, but I'm gonna read the outside. It said, believe in how strong you are. So pretty. And it says, I do. And she wrote me a heartfelt note. But like I said, I didn't get her permission um, to share it. But I think this is very sweet. I don't think she will mind me sharing it. It just it just goes to show how sweet and thoughtful she is. Say, hey, Shine, I just want you to know that I'll continue to pray for your healing. I'm always here if you need someone to talk to. I took the Care Bear out of his box so it can fit. It's from five below. She did say that. So, yeah, that was so sweet to know that someone take their time out to think of me, to pray for me, and to wish me well wishes. So, that means a lot to me. So, yeah, that is the card. Let me put that right there. And what I got from her is this beautiful bow mug. I wanted this mug so bad. I could not find it for the times I was able to get out. And even though Chip was go out for me here and there when he go out to run errands, he could not find it. But I had her pick me up this beautiful bow mug. This is actually the only bow mug I, oh, bow, bow mug I have been able to um get my hands on like outside of me. Like I think the other day when I was in Marshalls, I ran across the little clear one with the little bitty 3D little bows all on it. I knew I had this coming, so I tried my best not to pick that up. Um, I kind of wish I did, but now I'm like, no, I'm looking for other types of bow mugs. I saw a cream bow mug and a pink, it's like cream with a pink inlay bow and then a cream on cream inlay bow, but it had some type of glazing issues and I didn't pick it up. But I just think this is so cute. Simple and dainty, not overdoing it, but I do want one more bow mug. Um, I don't even think I even have a screenshot of it. Because y'all know that's how I manifest some of my stuff. I screenshot it or whatever. But we did do a transaction on this, and it was $6.99 from TJ Maxx. So, yeah, I am so happy to have this in my cup. I just think the bows are just absolutely cute. They have all the different styles like you have the big bow then you have the little thin dainty bow it just it's just so sticky cute so thank you mari again for taking the time out to pick that up for me and that is all that was in that box i might have to big down uh -oh. this is a box from angel and we had some complications with this box then with angel because I have a delivery service, and it'll go, like, if you guys send me anything, no matter what, or whoever send me anything, um, if you're using my delivery service that's linked, not linked, but listed down below in my description, it'll go to that place. Like, it'll go from wherever service you go to, UPS, post office, whatever, they'll drop it off to my delivery service, and my delivery service will get it. They'll notify me, and I schedule a delivery time. Well... They said they didn't get it. Like, they knew they got it because I showed them all the, you know, information, track number and everything. But they couldn't locate it. It took them a minute to locate it and log it in so it can, you know, generate to notify me that I have a package. Anyway, we glad that it's here because I've been waiting on these goodies for quite some time. And I am so, so excited because I could not get my hands on none of this stuff myself. Now that I had it. Ah! And then she did add some extra goodies. Okay, so let's first thing first. I waited to do this video to open it, but I do know what it is. It was another business transaction. I'm pretty sure y'all can see through the paper. And I don't know why I didn't go ahead. Oh my God, what's wrong with these scissors? Did I get glue on these again or tape? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to open this. Sis packaged this very, very well. And I don't want to take up too much of this video. I'm trying to get to the point where I'm starting to do videos on Wednesdays again. But I don't really be having nothing going on lately because I've been sick. I just be in the house doing content when I'm able to do it. What do y'all think about my shorts? Like, I've been trying to push out a lot of shorts on YouTube 
and reels. What do you guys think about it? Like, do they keep you kind of like um in the knowing with me until I do an actual video? Are y'all enjoying those? Let me know down in the comments. Because I'll be trying to do something to keep y'all, you know, interested and engaged with me. Oh, sis, you got this package real good. I appreciate that. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, it's giving me copper toner. <laughs> this is some thick bubble wrap. You have to put just your stuff these days because these post offices do not care how they you handle your stuff at all. Oh. Oh, we almost here, you guys. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Ah! It's so thick and cute. So it's the Hello Kitty skeleton. Oh, it's damaged. Oh, did I do that? I might have found a way. It had a little imperfection like this was lifting up. I might have to find a way to. It's damaged. Anyway, so this is the Hello Kitty skeleton little plaque. She got it from Marshalls for $7.99. And I wanted this so bad. Excuse my nails, you guys. I've been doing a lot of... I don't know what that is. It's stained my nails. It's gross looking. I don't know what it is. But I've been doing a lot of, like, cleaning with products and it's stained my nails. Anyway, I got off track. I've been wanting this so bad. I think they had a black and white one last year. I couldn't get my hand on the black and white plaque. Or, you know, picture, whatever you want to call it, or the mug. So I was so happy to, you know, her, her you know, let me know that she did find this for me. This is going to be so sticky cute if I ever do my coffee bar. But just to know I have it, I'm happy. So, yeah, got that. Next. Ah! I'm pretty sure y'all can already guess. I've been waiting for this for so long. Oh. Y'all, it's the excitement for me. Okay, let's open it up. Sis said she was not playing. Because, you know, we actually had a mug break on us. Some she sent me. It broke. I blame the UPS because I think she paid them to ship, like, package it up for her. And they didn't do a good job. And one of my, I think it was my Valentine Hello Kitty mugs, broke. Mm. I'm trying to be gentle. Okay, cut a little more. These scissors are so bootlegged. I think I got some tape on it. Where it's not allowed me to. Ooh, ooh I'm getting caught. Oh. Ooh. What is this in my hair? Yo, so much of my gray hair has been protrude, protruding, however you want to say it. I'm like, golly. Let me live a little. Because, like, ever since I've been, like, dealing with my health, it's just, just a, little, a tad bit more than usual. Things been popping. I've been getting all kind of like pimples. And okay, I know this is off subject, but I'm my family is infamous for moles. My grandmother embedded it in us, and I have it the worst out of all the people in my family. And I've been noticing I'm getting all these little moles. And the primary doctor that I have now, I had one prior, told me I need to be careful to make sure it's not cancerous. And she said I was insulin deficient. So she wanted to check on it and she ended up leaving. So I've been really, really like cautious, like my moles. I did have one. <laughs> now, this may be TMI, but hey, we grown here. Um, in an uh, area on my leg, close to my nana. Yeah, she had to go. I didn't do it intentionally, but it fell off. I, I just, and I was so glad, honey, because I'm like, that is not cute. Have something dangling. 
<laughs> but yeah, I'm like, why are they popping up all over the place, all over my body? And it was really freaking me out. Wait a minute now. Okay, let me start talking and focus on this. I just didn't want to. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm shaking. Come on. Oh my gosh. bring me so much joy y'all look at her look, look at her don't look at me look at her y'all she is absolutely the cutest so sis found this for me at marshall's for 12.99 y'all this excuse the motorcycle honey um what i about to say this will be my second no my third full body Hello Kitty mug. I have one that's which one? I have the one with the little pink, little jumpsuit and I believe I have a Christmas one then this. Oh my god. I would have loved to have the black and white one but you know it's okay. Best can't be choosing but this, I had to have this. So she found, like she found a bunch of them on the shelf. So thank you so much sis for grabbing this for me. I'm like overly, overly excited for that and then she did include some extra goodies that i was not aware of so i'm gonna get those out the box and we're gonna move on to the rest of the goodies and she sent the card too but we'll first get into these extra goodies she did send me out these care bear lip balm i'm believing it was a set and she just split it with me so thank you sis for that it has Great flavor. It's a little Halloween Care Bear thing. And this is berry flavored. Super cute, right? Oh my neck. Oh, I cannot wait. Um, then she sent me a pack of pins. These are like strawberry pins. I always use pins, honey. But these are actually really, really cute. I don't know where she got them from. Um, I don't know, but they're super cute. So you have some with um strawberry with pink background then white background so super cute then you have this one red background i don't know what color they write um i'm guessing black but thank you sis we can always use some pins and a cute little strawberry setup then she sent me this cute little hello kitty pouch when i seen this i hit the floor i was like oh my god that is so sticky cute and look at the little charm that is so sticking cute. I don't own anything like this. I was trying to see if it had like a... It kind of... Oh, it has um, My Little Twin Star, Karothi. So, it has a lot of the other uh, characters on there, her friends. So, thank you, sis, so, so much for that. And she sent me a card. Hello, kitty, of course. I didn't get her permission, but I'm a... It just said, you're healed. Know that God put his best soldiers... On the battlefield, you will come out of vic you will come out victorious. Keep your head up and keep shining bright, sis. I know that these few months, these past few months have been rough. Know that you're in my prayers and you are an inspiration through your pain. You still remain pot. You are inspiration through your pain and you're still and you still remain positive. Love you and know that you will be better. You're going to come back even stronger. Love, Angel. That just this is so, so sweet and thoughtful. I love it when you guys send me thoughtful and heartwarm cards and stuff. So, I always keep y'all cards. Like, always. I have a little box under here under my little vanity with all you guys' box. So, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, sis, for that. Thank you, Mari, for your package as well. All right. So, now let's get into some goodies that I picked up. So, first thing first, I'm sure y'all see the real your girl got another pair of sneakers um these are the air jordan one mid black 
white gold metallic. I'm pretty sure y'all already know, but I could not pass these up. So I got a notification. If you're if you haven't downloaded the Nike app, I think you really should do so if you're into sneakers like I am. Because they will send you a notification if a price drop or anything or restock or whatever. And that's what happened in this case. I had these saved that I wanted. And these are not the original pair that I want. I forgot the name of them, but they're very, very similar. Um, my husband know all about it. Um, but they sold out in my side because I am a 10 in women, but an 8, 8.5 in men. Um, and I had these in my favorites and they let me know that they had a price drop in them and also an additional 25% off. So I think I paid roughly like $75 plus tax for these sneakers right here. And me being a sneaker head, why not? And I don't own anything like this as far as this colorway. So, ah, so stinking cute, so Thinking cute and appropriate for the fall and winter. Oh, let's get it out. Y'all, y'all can't tell me these not y'all. You can't tell all the black and gold bags we carry. You need these. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're still available. I'm going link, to link it down below. But the additional 25% off is not the available. But you're still paying under $100. I think they're like on sale I believe for like 93 and they're originally like 120 or 18, something like that ballpark figure. But y'all, black, gold, metallic, yes, please. Yes, and you know, a lot of my joints are the um the the mid. So yeah, I mm, and for that price point, they didn't put the shoestrings in, of course, but the shoestrings are right here. I'll get chipped to lace it up, but I'm gonna order me some. The sneaker jewelry off of Amazon to AIDS charging. Girl, hush. Y'all heard that? Um, uh, my phone was saying it need charge because I ain't using my camera. I'm using my phone. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna add some um sneaker jewelry on it just to add a little flair and kind of bring that gold down or what. It's gonna be a whole vibe, I promise you. And then I have a cute black leather and gold steam man bag that I still have yet to kick. Mm hmm. Yep. She ready. So I got those. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, y'all, I got a whole bag down here. Good, it's not a lot. Thumbnail. That ain't gonna be a cute one, because, baby, this bun... <laughs> Got this cute little pink jack o' lantern bag from Marshall, of course, 99 cent. First thing first, no particular order. There's two pieces for this. Bam! I'm, I'm already sure y'all know about it because I've been sharing it and you guys have been loving it. Y'all know my newfound love is collecting culture accessories ever since I got wind that they're selling them at Ross and TJ Maxx. I've been on the hunt, honey, because right now I have, I think, five bangles. But I was in Ross one day, and I found this bangle right here. I love the fact when it comes in a little cute little box, but I kind of preferred the little dust bag. But here it is. I have yet to take it out. Well, I've taken it out before, but I need to take it out. Take it out now so I can show y'all. Um, But I initially saw this print in an earring in TJ Maxx last week. Um, Did I do it real in the store? I believe so. And I forgot. I had the lady put them on hold for me because you know how you have the jewelry section or whatever. And then I went around to go shopping. And when I went to check out, I actually forgot about them. And I was sick. And then went back to that area the next day and still forgot about it. So I'm like, oh, that's a nice print. It's kind of like cream seas trimmed in black. And it has some little diamonds on here. Very cute. Very different from what um, I already have. Because most of my bangles are just, you know, basic colors with the C on there. The enamel C. Um, but I thought this would be cute to add to my collection. $36.99. But like I said, I was in 
that TJ Maxx and I saw I initially saw the earrings first I'm already telling y'all what it is because I'm sure y'all already know I don't like they don't TJ Maxx don't give you the like does it come with packaging does it come with a dust bag but they do give you a little box which is still good so I initially saw these earrings first at TJ Maxx that's what made me know that this print existed but I did not know a bangle went with it and I forgot I had to put it on hold but I forgot to go purchase it or whatever. I went shopping. So when I saw the bangle in Ross, I was like, oh my God, it's a bangle that matches the earring. Y'all, we, okay, so that plaza up here has a Home Goods, TJ Maxx combo store, a Ross, a Target, a Five Below, Dollar Tree, or whatever. I went right next door to TJ Maxx and found these the same day, not even 30 minutes later. I was like, see, it was mint. It was mint. And it's literally, these were $39.99, which is like a little pricey, y'all. But it's literally the same. Look. Look. So I, I spent some little money on the accessories, huh? $36.99 and $39. So, yeah, I'm going to be wearing these. I'm going to be wearing them. So I just thought that was just so cute and so mint. I love the fact that it's like just a basic hoop, but it still will help elevate your look. And look at the backing, you guys. It's completely different from the traditional type of backing. So, so stinking cute. I just love that. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited to have this in my collection. And it does have coach. I don't know y'all can see it. I know my camera probably won't. But if you can see a little bit. Oh, my nails are so funky looking. It has the coach um, engraved in there. So, yeah, got those pieces. So happy to have my first pair of earrings and i'm looking for another pair that goes with a bangle i actually saw it right after i got that and still didn't go back i don't know what i'd be thinking i don't know if it because i'd be in again sick because you know lately i have yet i have not been able to be in stores um long um because of my vertigo and all the other crazy crap that's going on with me but, you know, this too should pay it. I'm just checking everything. I'm going to keep my receipts. Um, I don't know. I've just not been able to stay in stores long. I get hot. I get... it just be a whole lot, honey. But, anywho, next bag. Looks like we got some Dollar Tree goodies. I went out to go get some cosmetic bags that Tasha... Y'all don't know who Tasha is. I don't know who, what you're doing with your life. That girl, TLA, on Instagram, she find all the good and viral um items from dollar tree and so forth so she had posted these cosmetic bags and i was just like huh that'll be really really cute to go with a couple bags that i got hold on y'all so i can give y'all a visual i've been having this bag forever i think i carried it one time because i don't have a wallet or anything to go with it i think i had a chance to get the wallet from Target, and I slept on it. But y'all, look at these cute little Sherpa cosmetic bags from Dollar Tree. 125, and it say beauty. It also comes in pink. Chip said he saw the pink, and then pick it up. He put it back down. But look, I got a Sherpa bag. It's not the same, but it's close enough. And I was wanting pieces to go with this bag. You know how we get down. But I just thought that was so cute. It's not the same. This is more of like a like a taupe and this is more like a oatmeal i don't know but it's it gonna work i just thought that was cute so yeah 125 and it comes in another shape i heard like a this is square i think that was a rectangle so i'm looking for that because i believe i heard that it's a little bit lighter i don't know i'm not gonna pop the tag off this because if i do find that and that one's look better i just gift this one so yeah Got that. Got some Guru Nada Hydrate Electrolyte Drink Mix from Dollar Tree. You know, Dollar Tree have been carrying a lot of the um, Guru brand products. So far, I've only been able to find the toothbrush. And I believe that's it. I have not been able to find, like, the mouthwash. I did find the placards. Been found those a while ago. But Chip picked these up for us so we can give it a try. Got two. The last two boxes, because it was literally empty. 
Um, got this Barbie um toupee for the grandbaby. We're not big on fluoride um toupee, whatever. But I got it. It's bumcom flavor. It's cute. So hopefully everything will be okay. And last of this Dollar Tree haul, I picked up the coconut water just for her individual wrap flushable cleanser wipe. I thought this would be really, really nice to put in my bag, in my toiletry bag. It says it's wipe stay moist long, ideal for on the go, and offers with a gym, fits in your personal pocket, easy to share, and convenient. And it is pH balanced, paraben-free, dye-free, and cruelty-free. And I've heard a couple of ladies talk about these, so I thought I would want to give it a try. So that's all that I got from Dollar Tree. Next, uh, I did go to Marshall's and I picked up, a, excuse me, a couple of um, hygienes. I didn't want to share that with you because you probably already know. Y'all know my hygiene staple, which is Dr. Bonner's, um, the Castile soap. We already using, so I picked that up. Then I picked up the San and Fall French Vanilla. Is that the one that I wanted to get? I know my girl Tasha been telling me about these San and Fall hand soaps. I've been got wind of them, but I never could get my hands on them because they've been, you know, sold out. People are really, really enjoying them. But I did find the Tahiti, I think it was Tahiti Vanilla. I wasn't a fan of that scent, but I found the French Lavender. And I was like, okay, that that, that that's nice. Um, but yeah, Sandy Fog, they really been doing their thing with hand soaps, body washes, fragrance, so forth. And it was only $4.99. And the package is absolutely aesthetically pleasing. So if you don't have like a soap pump or anything, this would be really, really nice to put um, by your sink and still give that, you know, the luxury feel. However, but I actually like, I'm a little stuffy right now. So I'm going to see if I can. Yeah, it. It smells really, really, uh-oh. I like any, I'm not a big vanilla person when it comes to certain things like this. Um, But lavender and vanilla, I just thought this would be nice to put in our bathroom. So, yeah, got that. And let's see. Next, oh, uh, I hate to be bending over. We got some more of the um Parker and Bailey Instant Odorless Stain Remover. You know, I talked about this before on my channel, but it was a smaller packaging. And this is a 16 fluid ounce packaging. And you guys, I had to grab it so quick because look at that price point. That was the same price that I paid for the smaller bottle. So I was like, yes, if they would have had more, I would have probably got, grabbed two more bottles because we use this for a lot of different stains. You can use it for your shoes. I've used it in, I'm going to be 100% authentic with you guys. I had a little accident in my car. Um, and if you know, you know. Chip used this, instantly removed it. Instantly removed it. No, no even, you know, evidence that it was even there. So it's great for ink, wine, blood, grass, coffee, grease, baby formula, food, and it's satisfied guarantee. So if you see these, grab them. <laughs> I'm telling you, they work wonders. I've had stains on my white upholstery dining room um not dining room but bar chairs took the stain right out especially when i had the grandbaby over and she was putting her little yucky sticky hands all on my furniture this works really really great i highly highly recommend it oh i need to show y'all something else um sorry i'm not better prepared but i this green velvet soap for years you guys i'm talking about years oh my gosh i've been back in texas with seven years now and i know i probably had this bag at least five never cared it. i got it from walmart and i just thought it was so cute for like around christmas time i got this bag on clearance um i believe like three dollars y'all and then i had found the matching pouch on, no, the bag was on clear. I believe five and the pouch was three. And I just added this pump pump on here a long, long time ago. But it's not literally the same or whatever, but it'll work. But I pulled it out because that's how long I've had it. I pulled it out because I found the green pouch from Dollar Tree that Tasha was talking about as well. I was not able to get the other colors, like the pink velour or whatever, um, and the other shades or whatever. Um, but I was able to get my hand on this. I need the pink one. 
I need the light pink one, you know, the blush pink one, and I need the, the olive green one. But I was happy to get this because I knew I wanted to try to, you know, pair it up. It's not the same, but it, girl, it'll work. Who's going to be in my bag? Who's going to be in my bag like that? I mean, I might do a what's in my bag, whatever. But y'all, y'all know we like to coordinate. But honey, I think I do really, really well. And I'm not talking about nobody. Set up, but yeah. I ain't even get into that. So yeah, I got this. And that that's mainly why I talk, was telling y'all this. I know I'm all over the place. But yeah, I got this from Dollar Tree. That don't go. But that's a closer shade to that than this. I'll put that on there just for, honey, for the sake. But the reason I'm sharing this with you guys, because y'all probably like, Shine, get to the point. Bam. Tasha again. I'm telling you, she the plug. She showed that Ross, I believe that was the only place, um, was carrying the Nette Lepore piece. Y'all know how I feel about the Nette Lepore. I think it's a really, really great brand. Oh, I had returned. Y'all remember that rug? Did I show y'all the rug? I don't even think I showed y'all the rug. So I bought a two-piece rug set from Ross and it didn't work it didn't work I didn't even keep it long enough to share with you guys it was a cute print I was trying to get it for my kitchen it didn't work I took it back but Tasha was showing that uh Ross was carrying the net little poor pieces and it's pretty plaid cutter and I knew I had wanted to find it to go with that bag it came in two styles of wallets I cannot wait till I can get good at editing where I can show y'all, you know, show y'all a picture in a picture. If you know about that, you're a country creator and you ain't no hater because ain't no competition over here. It's all love. We all trying to, we all got goals. You know what I'm saying? Help your sister out. I know that's a stretch because I'm not opposed to not asking for help, but when I've asked for help before, but yeah, and now she's not even doing content creep. See, God don't like it. Anyway, yeah, they come in another style wallet. I have this style in red to go with that recent Macari find, that bucket bag. So I was kind of wanting the one that Tasha actually posted, but I was not desperate, was wanting this. So I just grabbed this style. Um, it was $10.99, and it's called the Navy Torton. And it's like this. Super cute. I just think for that big toe, I wanted the bigger one better. Um, but I thought the bigger one would be better. Money slot. Cart. Right here. Right here. Zipper for cash. And it also come with an additional car holder right there. So I just thought it was nice. And it's like this green with hints of magenta and red and very giving very christmas like and i just thought this would be nice what y'all think i thought that would be a nice setup right so yeah that's why i got it but i'm still looking for like the pouch that came with it she found it but i have yet to find it so i hope i can get my hands on it really really soon all right and last but not least you guys i have been doing some macari shopping and this next item i have been eyeing it for quite some time um because i have two pieces that goes with this item and a lot of the girlies on there was just they was price gouging they was just want literally too much for these items i'm like she's been literally sitting on that bag for like two years and i've been watching it and i've been watching it, and she finally dropped it low enough to where i felt comfortable enough of purchasing it and it was below retail but then I gave her an offer, and she accepted, you guys. So I'm so happy to finally have this in my collection. Ah! It is the Juicy Couture Peekaboo. Um, let me get it right. Pick your pedal. Peekaboo backpack. It was brand new with tags, you guys. And I've been wanting this backpack for quite some. I'm not really a backpack person. It's the print. Because I've owned two pieces already to this print. It was some of my earliest Juice Couture pieces when I first started collecting. So, like I said, it was brand new with tags. It still has the attachment on the little pouch in the front. It has the cute little bow. That's all why we wanted. 
I just thought this was so cute and dainty and girly. And I actually have a duffel bag. Let me cut this off now. I actually have a duffel bag in this dust color that will pair up so well with this in case I want to use it for travel or a hospital bag and so forth. So, yeah. I have the items that I already own inside. This is the wristlet. And I had this for years. This was my first pieces in my juicy collection. And I have the heart wristlet. So I don't have a wallet. I don't even think a wallet does exist with this. But I have plenty of wallets that will go with this in this blush color. So it's no biggie. But I'm going to do a whole cute what's in my bag video on this. I know it's autumn. And I know these flowers and stuff. But I'm still going to do it anyway. Yes, I am. I'm still going to do it anyway. I just got it stuffed in there to help save on space. Um, as well as keep it kind of plussed up. Because that's why she said the price reflect. Um, because she had it for a while. And the straps and stuff was a little wonky. It was bent up. She had it in storage. But I checked everything out. Gave her a five-star rating. Because it wasn't bad at all. It was no piping. Um, it's poking out. Everything was flawless. It was... It was in really, really good shape. So, I'm happy to have this now in my collection. Oh, I'm so happy. Let me get this receipt out before I end you know, up throwing it away. All right, you guys. That is all I want to share with you guys. I know I held you up for quite some time, but I hope you guys have truly enjoyed it. If you have yet to already join the Sunshine Squad, please consider doing so. We would love to have you. Our family is growing slowly but surely. I'm appreciative to all you guys. I really, really am. And thank you guys for showing me so much love on Instagram. If you're not following me over there, please consider doing so. It live to shine for my lifestyle, fashion, and all that good stuff. And then I have my pink madam, which is more like my girly um just all cute sister you know um yeah and then my tiktok i ain't doing too good over there it's okay though i ain't really trying to get a community over there because it's just a lot it's just a whole lot you have to really have a nice community over there to get the support you think you deserve but enough of that i hope you guys like i said truly enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend i'll catch you guys on my next one bye